Pokemon Trophy Hunter here, and today I have very exciting news. The Intel Texture Works plugin for Photoshop has finally come out. I'm going to have a link to this website in the description of the video and on my mod page. And once you get to this website, you're just going to want to look up at the top. It's going to say Downloads. There's a tar and then a zip. Download the zip. It will download. It's not a big thing. Open it up. And then inside there's another RAR archive or dot zip. Open that up. And then go into plugins. And this is what version of Photoshop you have. I have 64 bits, so choose X64. And then you want this 8BI file. Go to your installation folder of Photoshop. It'd be like app Photoshop CS6 X64 plugins file formats. And you're gonna to want to just drag it in here, with Photoshop, uh, with Photoshop off. And once you have that, open back up Photoshop. Now I'm gonna import files directly from Fallout 4 into Photoshop. It's beautiful. You don't want to choose Open. Choose Open As. And I'm gonna select the normal map and specular map. But first the normal map. And I don't want to load the mit maps into separate layers, so choose no. And here's our normal map. And we can open up the specular map. No. And there you go. These are exactly the same as my targets I used to save up before. And convert them with the NVIDIA texture compress tools. Now we can just, you know, directly load them in Photoshop, edit them edit the normal map by inverting the blue channel like this and you don't have to invert it back because the plugin does that automatically but for the specular you need to make sure that it looks like this before I, I just prefer to edit it like this as as it is anyway doesn't really matter to me and once you've made all your editing changes you're just going to want to go up to file save as of course Choose the Intel TextureWorks format and save them uh, to where you want to save them. I'll save them on the desktop. Obviously, for the normal map, choose the normal map. BC5 compression. Uh, don't tick normalize. And I'm at maps auto generate. And you can see the preview. It makes it go back into a derivative map. But that's fine. That's what we want. Choose OK and then hit OK. That's saved. And we'll do the same for the specular. Save it on the desktop. Okay. And this has the same settings. As you can see, it looks exactly the same across, so that's fine. So hit okay. And now we can just drag those into the game folder. Place. And now let's go into Fallout 4 and check them out in game. Alright, now in game, as you can see, they look exactly like they used to look. No changes. And now, we don't even have to worry about any external programs to save out our textures anymore. We can just do it all in Photoshop. No more external programs. Oh my. Well. I will see you guys in the next video.